Oh, hello, you guys. Welcome back to Cameron Arena, uh, Maxlin Studios channel here. And today, um, uh, see, I, um, this is in here for a reason because it's uh, in my recording, so, yeah, whatever. Alright, fine. Today, we're gonna be, we're gonna be showing you, uh, how to edit your enemies in the game of Kid Chameleon. So, so, um, sorry, I have to turn the AC off because, because, because I have to, so, you, so people can hear me while I'm just doing this, uh, set up. So, um, I'm going to show you, uh, how to, how to, uh, edit, edit enemies in the, in the Kid Chameleon with Kid Edit. Oh, alright. So first, you need to uh, if you if you have a uh, kid edits or kid tool. So yeah, go into my users. So, so 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 as you can see right here, I have a hex editor called XBI32, which is a hex editor program, which you can edge it, which is a hex editor. So why don't you? So what 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 could you do? What you're gonna do first is you're gonna drag uh, drag your map. Which I have map for B in there. I'm working on it. Uh, so we're gonna drag map for B into. We're gonna drag your map into Kid Edit first. And and what you need to do uh, next. This is my, as you can see. This is my, I was working on this edited project because I need to build post it onto some or whatever. Yeah. All right. First, what you need to do is you're gonna have to drag your object post of uh, respawn of kid, drag it onto your enemy. So as you can see right here, I'm gonna find. Uh, see, as you can see, I have, I edited an archer. Cha I changed my enemy, which is archer right there. Uh, right there, I changed this right here. Uh. So what you're gonna do, uh, so what you're gonna do, uh, now is you're gonna move your kid right on this top of, on the left corner of the, num of the words of the enemy's name is. Right down here, and move down a little bit. A little bit, just cause, just so you'll notice. Alright, there we go. And now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna have to open your hex editor. So first, all you need to do drag your map you're editing drag it into a uh, xvi32.exe and this pops up and this is just all this crap here but to to find your way over to the enemies in your header and your enemy header uh drag it all the way down to the bottom right here and if you want to change your enemies or switch them, um, first what you need to do is, if if it doesn't work correctly, just type in after this after this heck as graphics, uh, just type in ff first, just type in ff first, and just type in double ffs like ff and ff, and and you and uh, this is the part of the enemies. This ha this map has three enemies in the level. So, uh, uh, oh seven is the uh, uh, okay. Uh, this is the palette. This is the palette of the enemies and nothing, which is just a regular uh thing. And seven right here is the name of the number of the hex of the enemy or number uh whatever. So uh yeah. But, but if you want to edit, so the so the archers is gonna be oh seven and and the spheres is six and the enemy type is five and five is the tar monsters and this where it says O F or any type of number other other than those is the number of enemies in the level so. And the enemies that next to the FF is is where the 
an FF next to that enemy is where the enemies are going to be, and an FF is where they respawn or not. And you when you change FF to oh, z when you change FF to nothing, it just doesn't respawn or whatever. And these two nothing are zeros. Here are the hit points of the enemy. And these, after those, these four digits here are the position of the enemy. So all you, so first you have to do first is find your uh, position where you are, and find O six three something or just find O six three. So just take oh wait, yeah, find it, found found it. O seven so O seven is the archers and the hit points are right here and this is the position of your enemy. So find O six so find O six thirty eight O two four F. O six thirty eight O two four F and this is the right one and O six thirty O two four F is this is this uh uh this crap right there which is in the explosives it's almost there but it's different or whatever you want to do, just change whatever you want to do. S you need to start at O six something. You need to start where your first object post position is. Object position is. Um first and next after that, you can move which different position you want in your levels in your um in your level I would say I'm gonna move him uh I would say I'm going to move him going to move him right here right here and just do whatever you want or just or just stay yourself on the ground or just keep him right here or whatever you want to do on your position so I'm gonna so I'm gonna position that enemy right here and um and and the uh, and 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 find out what your object position is where after you move him where you like and find what your position is so my position is gonna be is gonna be o three o o one c o all right so and next after that and after and after you do that go back into your hex editor and type in your object position where you want it to be so 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 uh, oh three now you go back into your hex editor and type your and type o oh three e o or whatever spawn of your enemy there oh three oh, all right o oh three e o O one C O. Okay, O three O three O. There we go. O one C O. O one C O. O one C O. Let's see if it's right. Yep, that's right. And when you're done, and when you're done typing in your uh uh position of your uh enemy, go to file and click save. And the enemy position is going to be in whatever your hit points, wherever your data on your map for B is going to be, and your or your whatever your map name is, is going to be saved. So now in kit edit, you press escape to close. Then you drag map for B back into kit edit. And, oh, right. And everything's back to here.
and and the archer has gone here is gone here and has moved to right here and it works and it works just great just fine so that is how you do it um, and one more thing I'm just gonna have to change I'll, t I'll teach you how to change the hit points and then we'll and then, then after that we're just gonna import the maps and test out and see if the enemy position just works or make them all work and yeah and next what okay and now to change the hit points find 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 your where you go back backwards where your position was find these two little zeros you don't you can't change this one cuz it would make the enemy stay all malfunction so you don't want that you don't want that because you want to preserve it sorry it's too much all right and in this position here and in these two zeros here are the numbers you want to type in hit points so you could type in one or two or three to change your hit points or whatever your net enemies uh data is or nothing or yeah so I'm gonna change this to one for or or oh two which I'm just gonna change this to two hit points so looks good and that, and this is how and this is how you change your and that was how you change your hit points of your enemy and change the position so now what we're gonna do we're gonna test out in the editor ROM and test out and see if it works so go back to file save it save I get out of your now go out of your uh, hex editor and, we, and in kit edit and since that position worked escape to close next open command prompt it's probably gonna be uh, just a just a just fancy yeah yeah now find kid tool drag it into there space find the ROM drag it into there space minus import or whatever you know you've already know if you know how to do that I'm not gonna tell you but yeah so it imports all this crap there for what I've done now we'll go back into the ROM and test it out and see if it works so let's just skip through all this crap here and this is my uh, level hub I'm still working on so let's just cause go play through this level for a while quick Anyways, um, this is just my level that I'm I'm busy on this level right now. I'm just creating this level to make it a good one. So I'm just I'm just this is just the I'm just making this I'm just making a video how to tutorial how to edit the enemy. So 
But this, but this is my pro. But those projects that I showed you, I was work. Those are the ones that I was just working on. I'm still working on it because I had to make my project. So never mind about that because I'm still working on it. Yes. But I'm still working on my project. But I'm still working on this project that I made because I need to make it a good one for people to play it. Just from I'm oh, sorry, from the Kick a Million Wiki. Right, so. Like Drios, Tyrodrin to try it, the Winslator, and Claw Noob to try it, and make it a good one. Or, and especially, Lord Molly. Because cause I want to let them try it. I'm s but I'm still working on this, so I'll let them see after when I'm when this project is done, and... No, I mean, when this uh, Kid Chameleon project for my project is done. Okay. Yeah, I mean, when it's done, I'll let them show it and play it, enjoy it, alright. And post it on the internet to let them download it. Okay, so, yeah. And, but for now, I'm just going to test it out and see if it works. Okay, we're gonna test. We're gonna okay. Okay, we're gonna test out the your uh, enemies and see if they work. Let's find the uh, archer. Let's find the archer right here and see if it's there. And there it is. There's the arch. There it is. And here's the arch that I moved. I mean that I moved. And it works great just fine. Alright. And the enemy just works great and just works just fine. So. Oops. I'm sorry. Oops. I'm sorry about this uh, flash drive crap. I'm sorry about that. So guys. That is how you change your enemy and move your enemy position and change your hit points. That is how you do it. So, that is the end, folks, and, and, and you better hope you listen to what I say, guys. Until later, that is the end, folks, and that's the end, folks. I'll see you guys later. That is it. See ya.